Hello, my cartoonist friends. This is Christopher Hart, uh, how to draw author of almost anything, including animals and cartoons. And this is my book, Drawing Animals Shape by Shape, which you can get at any bookseller. And I'm going to show you today how to draw one of the cute characters inside the book. I think it's on page 23. It'll be a fun one for us to try. And it's this little dog, little princess right here, cute little little pup. And it's based on simple shapes. So let me see if we can get close to that. We'll start off and I'll, I'll finish with my pen so it'll get darker. But let's start off with just kind of an oval. It could be a circle and it does not have to be perfect. No way does it have to be perfect. Maybe it be nice and sketchy to start off just like that. And because the character is cute, the, the, the head will be huge and the body will be another little oval that overlaps like that. That's how we'll start. And we'll get darker and more sure about what we're doing as we continue. Here are some guidelines. This is the center line. The face is facing this way. And we'll put the eye line low on the head because it is a young character. And the younger the character, the lower the eyes on the head. Do a little erasing here. Never be afraid to erase, please. You're always allowed to erase. So put the eyes in, and this one, a little circle, kind of oval on this side of the face. And a, another little oval inside, like so. Now this eye is a little closer to the center line because it's, it's in perspective, it's, it's turned. So this eye won't be way back on this side. It'll be a little closer to that center line that we just drew. Like this, and we'll put the, the oval for the eyeball in the same position. So we need some looking in the same direction with both eyes. And we can fill it in a little bit right now. We get darker later, but that shows us what the expression looks like. And eyebrows up. That's a cute, a cute look right there already. Right here, where the center line meets the eye line, we're going to put the bridge of the nose, a little rounded line here, like so, and a little button for the nose. Now, because his head is turned to the left, you want the nose a little to the left of that center line. You see that? Here's the center line, and the nose is a little bit to the left of it. Let's bring a nice big smile up here, and this is a split lip which means that it's got that little lip in the middle here, comes down like that. And you see that in dogs. But I just wanted to point out to you, some animals have them and some don't. For instance, a horse does not have a split lip, but cats and dogs have them. Now let's bring this part of the smile way down. I'm gonna open it up for the tongue to come out just a little bit. Flop it over, so I'll put it flat on top. You see that? Flat right here. Flop it over and bring this one back and this should be aiming for that little crease in the cheek. We just won't show it, but that's where you're aiming. All right? And I will just fill that in a little bit. Now let's bring that arm down, that little paw. Like that. And a little tail. Just sketch it out. We'll erase this now. Just, we don't need to show the overlap at this point. And I'm going to just narrow this a little bit because that's the neck. Right here, just a little indication of the neck. I'm going to actually bring this leg back. You can eyeball your own, your own and see what you, what you think you need, but I, I want to make this come back a little further. Here is the paw. And I'll have the back come in a little more. So that's why we don't worry about how the shapes look a lot in the beginning because we're just using them as a starting point. And we change them along the way if we need to. This is the little curve indicating the thigh. And here is the other paw. Like that. And we'll draw a little, indicate a little collar right here, okay? Just a little paw. Here's the elbow. That's a dog's elbow right there. Here's a dog's elbow right there. Now we could give him a little bit of a cheek if you want to. We could bring it out just a touch. 
and that means we have to bring the forehead in a little bit. If we're going to bring the cheek out, we bring the forehead in and kind of compensate for that. Now, the ears go on the sides right here, upper side, not on the sides and not on top, on the upper sides, like that. And so we'll bring this one down, and cover, overlap the head, like that. And we just, we just make this a little bit smaller. There we go. And this one comes back around behind it. And what does that do for us? This one covers it, this one's behind it, so that makes, gives you a little feeling of depth. You have an overlap. That's important in cartooning. I'm going to make this a little shorter because he's such a little guy. And some toes. Here we go. I'll fill this in here. And now let's give him a little bit of tuft of fur, like that. And we'll give him a little marking right here. I'm going to take out that center line a bit. All right, now, oh, we have to give them that food bowl at the same level as the rest of them, right? Here we go. So a little, little marking here to show the ground, a little marking here to show the ground, and underneath here. Okay, so now I will take out my trusty pen, and I'm going to do it over a little darker. See how that will look. You have to be careful with the eyes because so much expression comes from the eyes. You want to be a little bit careful here. So I'll do the outline of both before I go in and do the eyeball. Just so I'm consistent. Alright, now let's do the eyeball. Nice oval. Keep the oval shape. And I'm going to actually draw a little circle inside. So what am I doing? What am I doing? I'm creating a shine. An eye shine by indicating that circle, that looks like where the shine will be on the eyes. There we go. See that? It adds a little life. In, in movies, what they do is they use the lights to, to get the reflection of the eye, and that's when they, they like the shot. And we do the same as cartoonists. I would give them a little a couple of eyelashes just to make them cute. I darken in those eyebrows like so, and that button nose can just be completely black. A little bit of a bridge of the nose, cheeks, and remember we're doing that split lip. Goes in toward the nose right here at the bottom, and a little line, not too much. Bring this down from the mouth. And remember, we're going to aim for the other cheek right there, so we know we have it right. Flatten out the tongue, and now we'll give it a little bit of a crease, like that. And we'll darken this in too. Like so. Now let's, let's give him the, that inward tilting forehead, and a little tuft of hair there, or fur. Some dogs have hair, I think, the hyperallergenic dogs. Mine does not, but I don't get allergic to him anyway. He's too cute to be allergic to. Okay, a little crazy hair here. He's kind of an untamed dog, but he's cute. All right, now let's do the outline before we do the ears, just to, just to get our placement right. Remember, in at the collar, out at the chest, like that. And we'll bring the front leg out. A little petite little, little leg here. And here we'll bring the arm out and, and have the paw flip over at the wrist. Here's the elbow right here. And we can add a little darkness here, a little shadow. Gives it a sense of depth. I'm going to, meanwhile, fill in that collar. Here is that thigh and cute little tail. I'm going to have it actually touching the floor. I think I'd like to do that. Like that. And so to touch the floor, we have to use a floor line. This is nearer to us, so this floor, floor line is a little forward. And this food that he absolutely does not like to eat. 
My dog likes treats, not food. Always treats, always what I'm eating. I do not understand that. I don't eat what he's eating. Okay, so here is that nice rounded ears. Nice long section of the cartoon character. And we have it. Let us now erase this stuff. See how all the guidelines paid off, right? Well, you erase this stuff, you think you're going to make a mess, but you're actually cleaning up everything. Okay, one moment, and we'll see how it works. Okay, that's pretty close, right? Uh oh, let me just fill in the collar. Might as well fill in that collar. I'll give that a shine too, right? Right in the middle, by leaving some part empty. Okay, so I will show you the original from the book. So that's the book, all colored in. And that's what we came up with. Again, the book is called Drawing Animals Shape by Shape. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you will subscribe to my channel. I put new videos on every Monday. Thanks very much for watching. Give me a comment. I like to comment back. Bye-bye.